back to Better Living. I'm joined now by Debbie from Lighthouse Landing, which is at Point Place. There are a lot of different things. Your DK Treasure, too. you got a lot of stuff going on. Tell me what all is at Point Place. Point Place is a Bayside community, and we have a lot to offer out there. We have these wonderful uh, shops inside Lighthouse Landing, Art, Antique, and Craft Mall. That mall has 130 different businesses in it. And wow. All small businesses, and they do a variety of different things from arts, antiques, crafts, you name it, it's in there. Um, we have food back there. We have a banquet hall. We have a lot of different things happening in Point Place, including kayaking, boating, Winterfest, parades. It just doesn't end. It's a great community. Well, it sounds like it is. You guys, you've brought a lot of stuff with you. I, some things that some people will be familiar with here that have been um, on the show because we've had Jeremy Baumhauer on and we have had his Kringle Crumbs. And in fact, I may or may not have, okay, I really did. I tasted his Kringle Crumbs with perhaps a little Christmas ale uh, right on the show. Yes, I, mm -hmm. I did. They were delicious. <laughs> so you're selling his Kringle Crumbs. And then I have to point out over here, let me reach it because it's not in the camera. Let me reach it and I'm going to pull it. This is so precious to me because my mother made one like this mm -hmm. that's bigger, a bigger version mm -hmm. of this when, um, when she and my dad were first married. It looked mm -hmm. like this and then and gave it to my, it would have been my dad's grandparents, so my great grandparents. And when they passed away and they had the estate auction, my dad bought it back and brought it home to her. So Wonderful. It, uh, there, it, it looks like you could find a lot of things that perhaps people could tie mm -hmm. some memories to in there. We, we do. We get a lot of people that come in and walk through and say, oh my goodness, I remember playing with that yes. when I was a child, or I had one of those sitting on the mantel growing up. Um, we have tons of different items that people can relate to, and we have a lot of new items. We have a lot of wonderful crafters. We have Shirts, oh, my sweatshirt, <laughs> all right, uh, jewelry, uh, mittens, gloves, dining room table and chairs made out of tea. Wow. I mean, we just have such a large variety. We have sports memorabilia, collectibles, uh, stuff for the baby. If you need baby shower gifts, if you want to spoil yourself, this is the place to come because there's a little bit of everything. You can satisfy all your gift and all your wants as far as finding that unique item. And it's a good destination because you could spend a lot of time in there, can't you? You can. We also have in the back a little cafe that you can sit down and have coffee, donut. You can even get a pulled pork sandwich. So if you're hungry, you want to sit down, relax, eat, then go back out and shop some Refresh more. yourself on. a little there bit. You yeah, go. you can Gain do your that. strength back. Uh, let's talk, you've mentioned a little bit, but what is something, what are some of the different and unique things that you offer? Well, you, there's a lot of items there that you can have handcrafted just for you. Um, we, you can have things embroidered and have your name put on it or, you know, give it as a gift to someone. You could buy something that was handmade back when your mom was little. Um, you could uh, get something that you want to hang for uh, a towel. Yeah. You know, it's so different. And, and who else is going to have this when you give it as a gift? or collectibles, you know, they've got the sports. So we have something for everyone in there. Let's talk a little bit about uh, why you think it's important to shop local. We've talked about that a lot on this show, but why is it important that we spend our money with local people that are, that have local, that have invested in our local community? Well, we have a variety of um, needs in the community and there are over 130 different vendors in our facility. So in that hall, you have seniors supplementing their income mm -hmm. that maybe would not be able to, you know, buy that lip gloss that they wanted or, or get their hair done because their, their check just doesn't go that far. Um, you've got young families that are struggling people going to school, other ones working a minimum job. Mom stays home, watch the kids, and she makes items. And that's how they supplement their income. They're all um, paying taxes. They all uh, contribute to the community. And I think in supporting them, we're showing that we're building our community and we believe in ourselves. Well, you also build the community by doing some community and some fundraising events too. Talk about some of those. We do a lot of that. We really enjoy Point Place. One of our major things that we've been involved in is the Military Pathway, which is located outside of Cullen Park on Summit Street. Mm -hmm. um, we've uh, dedicated a Vietnam Memorial, which has 134 
men's name on it that gave their lives in Vietnam from Lucas County. There's also the Medal of Honor plaque, and this year we're working on the Korean and the Iraqi memorial. So we do a lot of that. Christmas time, we adopted uh, three different families out there, eight children. Um, we work with the community in the Christmas tree lighting. We've got events coming up this year also, after the first of the year, it's a town hall meetings in which we'll hold in our banquet hall. People can come and we have Bill Gearhart, Giha, I'm sorry, he is speaking and it's on bullying for your oh. kids and, and uh, drugs and it's children talking to the parents helping them to understand. It's a great program and it's free and it's offered to the community. That's a great thing yeah. because I think as parents sometimes we don't understand and those are two very important topics that our kids are faced with all the time. Right. People want to come out and shop at Lighthouse Landing and at Points Place. What kind of hours and what days are you open? Normally we're open Tuesday through Friday from 10 in the morning to 8 at night and then every Saturday and Sunday from 10 to 4. Although this coming Monday we're going to be open just for your uh, shopping convenience. Last minute. Yes, yes, absolutely. And this Saturday we have gift wrapping for a cause. So if you have purchases that you want to have wrapped, um, we are doing that, and the money goes to the memorials that all I spoke right. about earlier. Excellent. Well, get out there. You will find all sorts of unique gifts and, frankly, anything you need. And you can have a sandwich while you're out there, too. So get out there. Finish up your holiday shopping at Point Place Lighthouse Landing. We'll be right back on Better Living.